What do you guys think? I'm gonna take you guys for a little tour of what I call my studio here. I spent the last probably day and a half just revamping it, setting up all my equipment, and just making everything perfect so that way I have the most legitimate workflow when creating my videos. And I definitely would not have been able to get it done without my boy here, Noah. All right, hope you guys enjoyed today's video and let's check out the studio. to my studio tour. I'm gonna say 2.0 because I did do a studio tour, I think back about two or three months ago. Uh, if you guys wanna watch that, links are down below, but this is my revamped area here that I'm using. And I wanna show you guys how I kinda of put things together here to get a proper workflow and just to getting things done. I'm gonna start off by telling you guys that I'm shooting on a Canon 80D. I'm using a wide lens which is a 10 to 18 millimeter. And I got the shotgun microphone right on top. It's the Rode Pro. Anything that you see here today, I'm gonna drop the links down in the description below. So if you guys have any questions or you wanna learn more about something, either drop a comment down and I'll get right back to you. All right, so let's start over here. I have an Alienware monitor that I use I primarily got it for gaming. I have my Xbox One here, so I do a lot of gaming over here on my spare time. Um, monitor is phenomenal. It has a 240 hertz refresh rate. Uh, definitely worth checking out. It has a lot of lights on the back, so if you hook it up to your PC, you can download the software. The monitor will light up. Um, it has a really cool ambiance uh, in the dark while you guys are playing your video games, so definitely want to check that out if you guys are into gaming. Next, I have my MacBook Pro. I do my editing here. Um, I'm using Final Cut. So whenever I'm ready to edit my videos, such as this one that I'm making now, I'll just plug in my MacBook Pro to the monitor here, and then I'll begin my edits. I also have a Microsoft Surface. This is such a phenomenal computer. Um, I use it a lot for email. I've been using it for live streaming. It has an HD camera attached to the top of it. So definitely a great computer. Um, and I also figured it's important to have a Windows-based computer in the house. So I got it. All right, and this is pretty much this section here. This is what I'm dedicating this section to. This is the Osmo Mobile, which I pretty much shot the beginning B-roll on here and I'll link this down below as well. So let's turn around and talk about the workstation that's behind here and let you guys know what I'm dedicating this section to. All right, now let's talk a little bit about this section over here and what I'm utilizing it for now and what I'm going to be utilizing it for in the next couple of days. So, what I got going on here is I got two dual monitors from Samsung. Both of these monitors can go up to 4K. The computer that I'm using is a Lenovo Y900. Now this is the gaming edition which comes with a 1080 GE Force card. Um, it has 16 gigabytes of RAM, a two terabyte hard drive, a 512 SSD hard drive. I have everything that's for the keyboard, mouse, is a Razer edition. The reason why I got this computer is because I'm slowly transitioning from utilizing an Apple uh, Final Cut Pro and I'm going to start focusing on utilizing Adobe Premiere. Um, I figured it will be great to get a gaming computer because they're pretty powerful. I got a great graphics card, lots of RAM, it's an Intel Core, I believe it's an i7. I just got everything top of the line. That way I could be able to render 4K videos a lot faster, I could do my uploads a lot faster, and just create a more dynamic workflow. 
Also, what I utilize the computer for is when I'm doing tutorials online. So, I've been, I purchased a Logitech uh, camera which sits up here, also shoots 1080p 60 frames per second on a live stream. So when I'm live streaming, I'm also utilizing this computer uh, over here. Um, I do have the OBS software. Is I put a lot of tutorials um, in recent videos about that. And this is pretty much what I'm using this section here for. Um, also got the Blue Yeti microphone. Um, I did an entire review video on this. Awesome mic, it's just perfect, especially if you're doing your live streams or doing voiceovers. Um, and that's pretty much it. Uh, this is, this computer is literally a workhorse. So I decided to put my ADD on my Joby tripod and give you guys a little bit of a closer look of what it is that I got going on here. Here's the Razer Edition keyboard and mouse. This is wireless, excellent for gaming, and there's a pretty cool charging station right here. All right. This is the Blue Yeti mic. Again, great mic for live streams, voiceovers, uh, whatever you want to use it for. These are the two Samsung monitors that I'm utilizing. This is the wireless charger for my Note 8. Now, all the B-roll that you saw in the beginning when I was taking smooth shots, which was right off the Osmo Mobile, I utilized, I shot it in 4K utilizing my um, Note 8. So, guys, if, if you have something like this and a phone like Note 8 or iPhone, get it, you can get some pretty cool footage. Here is, this is the Lenovo. It's a great, great, great computer. It has the GE Force card in it. Uh, these are some Bose speakers that I, whoops, that I've been utilizing. I had these speakers for probably like five years and they worked perfect. That's my YouTube channel. Make sure to subscribe. Um, Printer, I hardly use. Uh, lighting, let's just talk about lighting really quick that's kind of blinding us here. These are Studio Pro lights. I got a great deal, I think I paid like 250 for three lights, this is the third light. I did not put a diffuser on it because I wanted some more direct light in here. But definitely some great lights you guys should look into. I'll put the links down below if you're interested. This is the Manfrotto Fluid Head. Again, everything that you guys see here, most likely did a video, I did do a video on this. This is the Mifoto tripod that I'm using. I got it in green, I thought it looks pretty cool. Um, but it doesn't matter what color, it does a trick. All right, now let's take a closer look over here. This is the surface that I was telling you guys about. I love this computer. The keyboard is so much different than any other keyboard that I typed on. So. Um, I enjoy it, I use it for work, and I do a lot of other things on this computer here. If you've seen some of my videos in the past where I did some overhead shots and I was taking, um, uh, doing videos of, of tech reviews, I actually hooked up this Canon AD that I'm utilizing now to this computer and I utilized it to view as my viewfinder. And that's what I was able to look at while I was creating my videos on an overhead shot. This here is the Alienware monitor. This has a 240 hertz refresh rate. It's a great monitor. Um, again, it moves. You could just maneuver it up and down. So, and then it tilts. You could tilt it up and down. And, actually, and then you could also maneuver the computer about 90 degrees over. So, awesome, awesome monitor. This is just a little stand that I picked up for my Xbox controller. And it's actually a charger as well. This is a 
docking station. Let me see. This docking station is for the Microsoft computer. So once I go ahead and plug this in, everything kind of just interconnects. This is my MacBook Pro, Xbox. Um, and now I got this closet at Ikea. I like it. This is where I put all my gear. This is my Sony Mark IV. This is an old 60D camera, which I use a little bit more for photography, but definitely don't recommend it for video. These are just little gadgets that I that I have, uh, either for my GoPros or um, these are the heads for the tripod. And just some more additional accessories here. Here's a little charging station. I try to make sure that after I'm done using every, anything that I just put it here on the, on the charging station just so if I need to go do a shoot, I'm pretty much ready to roll. And that's about it. All right, and this is it. This is everything that I have set up here. Um, <laughs> I'm not sure if I'm gonna be changing anything anytime soon. But again, the whole idea here was to really just kind of put a workflow together. If I shoot a video, I know that I could come in and hop on this computer here and start doing my edits or, um, or on this computer once I get Adobe Premiere and I just get the whole Adobe suite on here. Uh, if I wanna do my live streaming, I have my Logitech camera. This camera I'm gonna link down below. This is the Logitech Brio. This shoots 1080p, 60 frames per second on YouTube, so it's a great live stream camera. You don't need anything else, much more fancy than this. It's a couple hundred dollars. It's definitely worth the investment. Uh, and that's it. I hope you guys like my studio tour. Um, I put a lot of hard work and effort saving up for each and every item here, so it did not happen overnight, but Hopefully I can put it to good use. Now I have no excuses not to make my videos. So uh, thank you guys for everyone who's been subscribing to the channel, uh, for your comments. Um, if it wasn't for your support, it really helps motivate any YouTuber from just kind of proceeding on to the next step. It's like comments from you guys, your views, your interaction is what keeps like the community going. And, and I appreciate it. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's tour of my studio and uh i'll catch you guys in the next video all right peace